The band that's coming right oh. beside the belly button. Yeah. It comes right beside the groin and it comes into here. Oh. Right. Stop making him jump. All right. Little finger. Yeah. <laughs> so it comes along here, you can feel that tightness. So you, would, you wouldn't put a lot of pressure on there? Right? No. Well, yeah, exactly. What you really want to do is really work his big toe. Mm -hmm. so his big toe probably needs quite a lot of work. And you can feel a certain stiffness in that big toe as well. Mm. Right, that could be a lot looser than one of this. All right, so we've also got, we've also got another band that comes more around here into the belly of the muscle. And it comes through more in the back here. You can feel it, feel it right there. If you stop making him jump, he won't block the camera. Yeah. It's pretty hard not to make him jump. Especially to feel the tension. Feel that right in there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's going to then come more. It comes down through here more and comes into the sacrum. Yeah. Okay, so that's the band that comes from the, to, to the sacrum. So that's going to run more over here, whereas the other one runs more over here and then up into through the here, side the groin, into the belly. Okay. But you, how far would you go as a, as a practitioner? Depends how well I knew the person, okay. okay. But as a client that's come in? Uh, most of the time I'm going to try and release it from the yeah. big toe. Do all my work down here, yeah. or most, not all my work, but a lot of my work down here, and then I'll just follow it through. But there is times where I have to work right into that point yeah. right there. Okay. It's a very sensitive area, and I'd only do it with somebody that I knew. Someone well. you wouldn't know, where would you stop, just to have an idea? Uh, I'd stop through here. It's good to know that, because if you have a client, because I've had situations where I've had clients coming in with, you know, the groin pain, what are you supposed to do? I mean, yeah. how do you treat them? It's yeah. good to know. It is, because well, that, yeah, but I'm talking, we're talking, you know, what I'm going to teach on day one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, but Brandon is saying yeah. you could teach You could mention it. Say you find somebody, and they've got this tension, you can say, okay, we're not going to cover that right now, but this is, it, it does run close to the groin. Normally we don't work through here as part of a standard treatment, but this is an exception where sometimes it needs to be done. You only do that, and I don't want you guys as beginners to work there yet. Um, you'd only do that as a more professional practitioner, and only once there's a certain level of trust developed there, and you do it with permission, because it's not a standard. You know, in our style, but I would say in Thai massage, of course, it depends on the cultural perspective. Thai massage, they work very close to people's groin uh, because it's a standard, there's a very standard point right in there. Yeah, we're not in Thailand. We're not in Thailand, so we have more conservative uh, approaches. <laughs> um, but it is necessary sometimes to do that, so you would do that only with permission. Okay, now the other little band, the little fella. Next band along here. So it's going to come through. And it comes right through here. Yeah. So it's more like the side here where people are tight and it comes through here. Into here. Can you feel that room? Yes. Yeah. And then more along the edge of the shin bone. Right. Oops. You so fucking tight you threw me off. I'm in so bloody tight. Um, <laughs> See how tight he is through here, you can see mm. it goes above the shin bone sometimes, so you can see. Mm. And that's, that's obviously coming, I mean it comes from, sometimes it comes from this tendon here, because yep. you can see a direct link with that. But I also find very important is, is coming from here. To me it's like these different bands all seem to join from the, 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 the front of the foot here. They tend to kind of merge and become this one tendon. So we would also stimulate this point here. And that's more along what they'd call the stomach meridian. Okay. But I do think big toe plays a big part in this as well. Because you can see that right from here. All right. So it's almost, you know, a, a bit of that. Um, <clears throat> so the next one then, Is you can see this coming up through here more into the side again with Rob it's like you can almost see this little mm. mini band coming up um, which when you when you, you see that right mm. there kind of like a band that y y you sometimes pick up on in thinner people and it's coming through here it's very close to this other one which is more coming along here 
Okay, but often you don't really see that one. Either. So the one the next one is the small from here. Yeah. Gonna come round behind the ankle. Yeah. And up through the base of that muscle. Yeah, which is right through here. Okay. Yeah. And then it comes in through here. Yep. And then along the sorry, ready to feel that in there. Yep. And that's going to then get him in the in the side of the ribs. Yep. Here, you can see if I stimulate that gently, what it does. Yes. <laughs> it can be quite a ticklish and sensitive area in some people. Hey, don't get on your side. That's bringing really more pain. <laughs> don't get on your side. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's like bringing it to the surface. That actually continues up. Again, we don't work that much. It continues up into the um, the point of your shoulder blade. Okay, so on him, it's gonna. You can see it's more. Basically, it comes up through the side here and into here. You can actually feel it in there. Right there. Yeah, but it's again if you work that without having loosened up here, it's just like well, it's a killer ticklish. Yep. It's sort of like a painful ticklish, and it's a bad pain. So really, if we release it here, we generally we might just have to do the most simple work to follow it up. Just a quick flick over. Yep. You shouldn't be digging in there. That's a, that's an area where people could easily cause bad pain. Right. Just dig in, even with somebody like a high pain threshold. I've had people try and do that to me, and it just doesn't feel very good. So you release it from here. You know, make sure that's loose. Make sure all this, all this area is loose through here. It gets jammed a lot, right in that point there. Yeah. And around here, and make make sure this little toe is nice and loose. This is loose. Follow it up. So it gets jammed in here, so of course. From here, we work on that. Yeah, all all the way through there. Right there. You can see with me and my ankle problems, that's one of my most sensitive points on my body. It's right in there, that's why I get really, it's really painful for me. Mm. All right, let's do a minute, that one. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. back. See that's right there. Right there. Oh. There? Yeah. You watch this, Rob? You get the thumb over. Yeah, you can feel that. Oh, you can see there. No. Great, isn't it? Staying on the table. <laughs> 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 no, just kidding. <laughs> okay. okay, so, so, so we're, gonna, we're going to warm up, work, uh, work on all this, work yeah. on this, get this all loosened up. What about in through here? Yep, so that's the middle one. So we've got two bands, remember? Yep. Two bands coming up, one comes into the groin, into the right beside the belly button, the other one comes up and joins into the right. sacrum. So we're gonna we're gonna work on this a bit, but then we're gonna work on these to layer them out again. We're gonna come back, and we're gonna work on this, yeah, and then layer it again. Yeah, and then we're gonna come and we're gonna, and we're gonna the big toe you can see is so important. Okay. Obviously it has nothing not much to do with this band, but almost all these other bands are coming, you know, big uh, component of a big toe. And big toes are fine detailed work. So the thing is about the big toe is because the skin tends to be quite thick in the big toe. See, it's really quite hard to feel the bands as they come tiny in the big toe. Uh, however, there's instances where, where you can really feel them. And that's if you get the side of like a crystal and you go, you feel like, um, you'll feel all the more thin bands and stuff in the toe of the wall. The crystal, like a sharp edged instrument. Um, because the padding on your fingers ends up making it hard, hard to feel. I'll see if we can find something where it goes. I have blood from rain, you know. <laughs> Actually, I'll even peek the feet. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do is work that tuck. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll show you. <laughs> Easier on the edge of like a crystal or <laughs> things like this where you get into these. You can actually feel a lot of the little things flick underneath it. If 
feel, ever feel, feel that? And you'll feel things like moving underneath there, which is the ends of the bands, which you won't feel with your fingers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's quite interesting. Feel the little bits. A lot more like a pen, right? Yeah, and the more that, like the, the point, the, the edge of, mm, yeah, you can do it like that. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Feel yeah, little things. Yeah, 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 yeah. The funny thing is, it's easier to feel with the, with the, yeah. with that than it is with the, you can't even, the thing I was feeling with that, I'm not feeling right now. Mm. No, it just, but I know that if we don't use that, what we do need to do is just know that we got to go in here and squeeze and work it, even though we don't feel it because we know it's there. So th you can still do it like this. And then here I can start to feel it, you know, but I'm, it's a more gross manifestation of the tension that I'm feeling through here. So let me know if anything's uncomfortable, Rob. Oops. So we can squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And of course, this all represents the head and reflexology as well. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't. I wouldn't do that. So you can see I'm tracing that tension. It just like my fingers wanted to follow this up here from his big toe. And that's you you're using that finger on top of that finger? Yeah. And then I come again in here. But if you are having trouble, like, so I can do it with my fingers, but I'm not actually feeling it through here. Yep. I'm just knowing that it's there. But if you want to feel it, you use something sharp, but not sharp, but, but edgy like this. And you kind of get in and right into the really, you can use even the point of a crystal to get some of these. And you can feel them rolling under the, So I can feel the little things flicking under. It's like there's a whole little micro universe going on in the big toe, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> and we just kind of go in and go like that, <clears throat> which is fine. But if we want to understand it more, you get in and you really feel it with something like this. It comes like shaving the tension away. You know, of course, you got to be pretty good when he's moving his foot and toe around like that. <laughs> it's almost like he doesn't want me to do it. Do you feel a certain feeling of resistance to having this done, Rob? You'd prefer just to have checked in the body and left for a while, eh? I think there's a pizza guy at the door. Yeah. <laughs> See, now I'm actually coming into a different band. which is more the roots of this one. Mm. You can see how much tension there is just in this big toe. This is where we get into <clears throat> some more fine detailed stuff. It's almost a bit, but it's nice to show the beginning practitioners, you know, because feel that wrong? So some of that's achieved by just doing stuff like this. Oh, man. 
You can still feel that with my thumb, can't you? Well, Rob's gonna go. Oh yeah, Rob? Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's really out. So, I mean, he could deal with a lot of, I like that redness in your big toe compared to the other toes. <laughs> it's definitely a blood uh, increase. So, <clears throat> he's gonna need some fine detailed work on his feet <clears throat> to loosen up his legs. Um, and that's even, say, what I'm finding is more and more is, is for some people, it's just they need, which you can do with a tool or you can do it with your fingers, but it's really, what you have to do with your fingers is just work the area, because it's only a small area, and you'll get that tension. So this is what I say to people, work like this. They kind of go, oh, what are you doing? But that's what you're doing. You're accessing all that micro, it's like micro massage, you know? Could you feel that? And then what you do is you follow it up, like from the little tiny bands that you feel through here, from the tiny bands you're gonna feel through here. That sort of thing. But yeah, these kind of things, anything with a anything with a, a sharp edge is a way to actually learn to feel what's going on in there. And it's a very precise way to just work it. How does that feel compared to his? Um, it's a sharper kind of feeling, but it's not as, yeah, it's a concentrated like a tip rather than like overall pain. Like I'm feeling it. So, yeah. You can even do these other toes like that as well. You feel those little? Things? Yes. Rob's gonna go. All right. Yeah, she's. Good.